Hi, I'm Helen Watchers and I'd like to begin by acknowledging the traditional custodians of this land, the Ngunnawal and the Gambri peoples. I'm both very honoured and humbled to be selected as a finalist for the 2023 Human Rights Medal. I've worked for over 40 years as a human rights lawyer and my drive comes from growing up in Western Sydney. Near Villawood was refugee neighbours who I witnessed firsthand suffering inequality. I consider myself lucky to be both the youngest and the first member of my family to go to university, with my mother supporting six children on a widow's pension. Education is the transformative ladder of opportunity for working class people like me to become human rights lawyers and make a real difference for a better society. It's been a privilege to serve the ACT community for nearly two decades as Human Rights Commissioner and President more recently. Under my leadership, we've developed a deep human rights culture through implementing our 2004 Human Rights Act. So it's become business as usual when dealing with government, whether it's public housing, education, disability or health. However, no systems are perfect and our fairness needs to be challenged. I'm excited that a new human rights complaints process is currently being legislated, and after that, a right to a healthy environment. Another ACT first for Australia. The outcome I will continue to strive for is a national human rights act to positively enhance ordinary people's enjoyment of human rights every day all over Australia. I was honoured to work in partnership with the ACT elected body to lobby government in 2016 to amend our Human Rights Act to specifically recognise distinct Aboriginal cultural rights using the wording of the UN Declaration on the Rights of Indigenous Peoples. We work collaboratively to make those rights come to life by empowering people to know their rights and for governments to know their obligations. Whether it's addressing over-representation in child protection or humane conditions of detention, there is still a long journey of reconciliation to walk together and to close these wide gaps of disadvantage.